Hello everybody. My guest tonight, as you may have seen from the posters, is Trinidad Escobar. And she drew this. I'm wearing it because I am being a fangirl. But it's super cool. She drew that. It's rad. And so I felt like wearing it because it's a celebration. Hello, Elsa. Hey, Tana. Hey, Francois. Hey, Uni. Hey, Em. Man, people showing up in full force. That's awesome. Hello. Hello, Vita 2.0. Hi, hi. Yay. So many warm hellos. Oh, cat. Hey, Chris. What's up? Cool. Said hi for like, oh, a solid minute. That's cool. Kind of content you come for. Hey, um. Aw, so nice. So, um, ah, and Kevin's here. Hello. So you can join whenever you want, Trinidad, or I can play first because it can be awkward from time to time to be the little head up on the top of the screen. So just let me know what you want to do. Um, you probably know what song I'm going to do because I'm going to do the obvious choice, which is the song that I wrote um, after Kawhi was born. <laughs> are my kids loud enough for you guys? <laughs> they are uh, having a very like rowdy story time. And it's very fun. Um, but yeah, so basically, after um, Kalaya was born, I was blown away with um, how amazing the birth magic is and, um, and how strong she was through the labor and everything, and wrote a song about um, how he should be good to his mom, um, and he has been, so that's worked out. And it's uh, probably because of the song, I would think. So, um, here we go. You know I'm kidding. He's the sweetest boy. Okay. Um, so it's his lullaby, and that's why I'm playing the nylon string guitar. Here we go. <laughs> Sweet. 
So let's see. Thank you, Elsa. Hi, Brina and Lawrence. Hello, Ashley. Good to see you. Yay! Thank you for the claps and the thumbs up and the thing. Hey! <laughs> I'm so excited to see your face. I'm excited to see you. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Are you going to, do you want to read a poem right away? Or do you want to be? Um, I want to ask how you're awkward. doing. Check in and cheers you for that lovely song. Thank that you. Cheers. In this family. Huh? I said, can you hear me? We have spotty yeah. connection now. Oh, I can hear you. Yeah, no, I'm I'm hanging in there, starting homeschool with the kids. It's gonna be something. That's rad. That sounds real fun. Mm hmm Super mm -hmm. fun. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. <laughs> and it's my I birthday I week, as you know. It is your birthday week. I'm excited. I wish I could see you. Well, you're seeing me now. <laughs> that was part of why I asked you on. I was like, who do I want to have on on my birthday week? And I was like, oh, duh. Aw, mm -hmm. thank mm -hmm. you. So yeah. it's my birthday party, kind of. This is your party. This is, this yeah. is all you get. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I have... um. I guess I just want to say before we move forward that I have really spotty connection. <laughs> Theo's in cancer. Whoop, whoop. Yes, thank <laughs> you. Hi, um, Ashley. Um, yeah, so just so you know, we have spotty connection. And if for some reason I cut out, um, it's because M got me on cricket. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what cricket is, there's a reason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love cricket so much. Everyone should sign up for it. They should sponsor you, I think. They really should. What's the point of doing it this if I get a cricket sponsorship? <laughs> I think you need one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do uh, a poem, one longish poem that you know, uh, Graveyard Flower, which is a 10-year-old poem, but I remixed it just a little bit. Um, I hope I don't cut out. I'm going to move real slow because I feel like the camera will catch up to me and won't cut out if I do that. So, oh, it's not slow motion. I'm just reading a poem real cool like. Okay. A lot of feeling. Yes. Uh, welcome. Hi again, everyone. Um, this is Graveyard Flower. And I wrote this poem in undergrad around the time um, or shortly after a professor who was queer, but um, a cis white uh, uh, professor um, who had advised everyone to not write a sentimental uh, poetry. And I, I understand what he means by that, like as a, uh, as a writer, understand what that means. But the way he was describing it was really problematic for me. Um, he was saying that you should pretty much stay away from things that sound too girly or flowery. So this is my response to that. Thank you. <laughs> and if you don't mind, Meredith, I'll be speaking this at you, I guess, very often. Sure. Like one of the yeah. spoken words is great. at you. <laughs> I like to attack you with poetry. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. I can see it. Graveyard flower. Do not speak of flowers. Too girly. Too sentimental. Stay away. With these words pounding behind my eyes, a branding iron glow swells hot on my tongue. Have you too seen things that others cannot? The plants, like epitaphs, are suffering to be read. Yes, that balete tree consumed a body, using the heart to make chambers within its own trunk, the lungs to form giant sprawling leaves, 
the brain to generate the right chemicals that would allow it to speak to other trees, to comfort them, to warn them. I hear them too. The whispers of the dead emanate from this piece of paper, tattooed with inks that also grew once from the wet gloom and loam. Perhaps the endless foreign colors that drape temples or dust clotheslines in marigold countries are too spread open for the eye, too native womany, too close to primitive hand plowed fields and too far from the cold science of machinery and business and corporate law. I have seen the aggregate fruit of falling trees vaporized by expanding kingdoms, the steam of jungles contained like twisted bonsai, the trash skin of ancient vines as thick as a lover's vein, slit and exposed by the brawny arms of industries for all the world to enjoy. I have seen Abaka rope pull pearls from iridescent mouths, death to be strung around slender necks, saplings born from under the shade of fiery canopies plucked from compost, scaled like heart-shaped cherimoya, only to be tossed back. Girls born in landfills pick sharp, noxious stems by the banks of open sewers, mistaking them for medicine or signs from another people's god. They sell them along busy streets overgrown with the wilted shoulders of women with deciduous skin, their hands as open as petals as they thrive in acidic soil. I have felt the dirt and oil of the knotted strands of their hair, blue as the beak of a bird of paradise sipping from the sea. The power of their organs drained, emptied of eggs, mossy filaments deprived of sweet pollination. The perfume emanating from the bruised neck of a sex worker found just outside a military base in an alley shiny with blood is the extract found in boutique oils and princess cut bottles and the musky pages of books expressing the foreigner's experience and divine reign in the exotic world. When the powerful choose explosive wealth over the volatiles of flowers. People with arms outstretched like limbs of Ilang Ilang spring from the depths of the ground like stalks of corn mother. The youth of Cayenne countries and green plantain provinces stampede over bulldozers and cement trucks. Girls with indigo ribbons flying from their braids defend themselves from police protected by plastic and rubber bullets. Women gather arms and synthesize light and the strength of the northern wind like chlorophyll dark pigments of resistance. They refuse the mega malls built over ancient temples, the neon pools of tourist resorts and labor programs sifted over shriveling colonies, children that smell of the sun watch their parents help cultivate the next generation of hybrid crops using humidity composed of sweat and tears and prayers and history and they will teach others too the right of respiration. The classroom is a place for teaching how to stay away from feminine wisdom. It's a place for weeding out classmates whose brains I would wash drain, wash drain of all Western herbicides. I want to take this waste that not even flies would touch and show them its likeness to the fuel pumped into tanks. Contracts serve to rob fertile land from tribes. Tools used in compulsory sterilization and other forms of people approved genocide. To avoid the tendency of being flowery, windy, fruity, or corny, I would have to be taught how to not take offense when my, my teachers cannot comprehend the utter brilliance of a femme or where a femme fits or where femmes are buried in the earth. Thank you. <laughs> You are such a master. Oh. Master is the wrong word. You are perfect. You're exquisite. Oh. I love you so much. I love you. I, that was such a treat. That was wonderful and heartbreaking and beautiful. Thank you great. for inviting me and having me on. And thank you everyone who was able to stop by for our, our short little chat. Um, I hope folks are able to check out more of your music. People who haven't listened to your music yet, a lot of my friends have, but folks who <laughs> were tuning in.
check out her music on Bandcamp. Thank you, more to come. And all of my friends who are tuning in, check out trinidadescobar.com. And she has a Patreon, and she has a lot of incredible work on her Instagram at Escobar Comics as well. So look at everything that she's done. It's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. Aw, I'm your okay. biggest fan. This is just a love fest between us. It is. Just That's what I wanted it to be. People... <laughs> watch people slowly fade out as we talk about each other and how much we oh, yeah yeah oh for sure <laughs> just all kinds of clicking out yep hi uni oh i miss you so much oh uh, thank you thank you uni y'all are so kind that is kind <laughs> em is here too she says hello she says, hi em em's em. friends hi em's friends who are also my <laughs> friends by default <laughs> They have no choice. <laughs> um, oh, fun. Say hello. <laughs> no, you said hello in the comments. I won't. I won't pressure you to show your face. Aww, aww. I miss you guys. Um, aww. yeah. That's love nice. to everybody. So loving here tonight. I me, feel it. Tell me really quick before you leave. Uh, what are you doing this week? What are you watching? What are you reading? What am I watching? I've been watching I May Destroy You. Have you been watching that? I haven't. Everyone's been telling me to. It's pretty intense. Um, I didn't realize how, like, how hard it would hit on the sexual assault themes. So it's pretty, it's a lot. Um, but it's really well done, and she wrote it all herself. Like, no writer's room at all. She completely... Um, she wrote 191 drafts of the entire series mm, herself. God. All by herself. So it's very inspiring and it's really well done. The characters are great. So gosh. Okay. I gotta re I gotta watch it. I, I'm I'm slow. I'll be on it. What about you? Um, I've just been reading. Um we're not really watching too many new things right now. Normally we're on that like reality TV show tip, but we haven't <laughs> we haven't been doing that. Sometimes just like yeah. jam out. Anytime, anytime at all. Oh, the internet! The internet's so. Mean. <laughs> all right. Probably shouldn't push our luck too long, Hello, too much longer. Again? I'm sorry. I hear you a little. I'm frozen. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> You're frozen, but I could hear you. That's my cricket. Hello. <laughs> okay, I guess. My carrier is trash, too. We're Mine is the public. <laughs> All right. Bye. Love you. I am. Love you too. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Bye. Love to everyone. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. And have a good week. And we'll be back next week with another single song show guest TBD. So, see you later. Take care. Bye. Love you.